Welcome back everybody, I'm Michael Foley and here are my top five kickboxing combinations for beginners. These five combinations are built from the basics of kickboxing that we outlined in previous videos. I'll put a link to that kickboxing basics playlist in the description below. Make sure you go back and check that out. So the first combination looks like this. We're gonna get in our basic kickboxing stance retract our guard, and we're gonna look at mostly combinations that start with straight punches, specifically the jab. So we always wanna use our jab as a range finder. I'm gonna figure out just how close my opponent is with my jab. I'm also gonna see how they react when I throw my jab. So you've heard the term establishing your jab. This is what's meant by that. When we square up myself and my opponent, the first shot I wanna throw is my jab. I wanna move around pop my jab a little bit, and just take notice of how they're defending. How they defend is gonna determine what punch is most likely gonna land. For example, if my opponent defends the jab by pawing here, I know that there's an opening on this side of their head for a hook. If my opponent is slipping the jab here, I know that there's an opening right here for a right hand. That's gonna determine which of these combinations are gonna work best. The first combination, it's a simple one and it's one of my favorites. It's a jab and a rear leg low kick. And it looks like this. I'm gonna push off my back foot, step in with my front foot, extend my jab. Now off of this, I'm gonna retract my jab back to my guard. But as I do that, I'm slipping slightly towards my left side. With that slip, I'm gonna add an additional step where I turn my foot out on an angle. And off of that, I'm gonna whip my back leg around and finish with a low kick. So the full combination. And now from the side. Step in with my jab, retract my arm, step to the outside with my front foot, and from here, I'm either gonna finish with a downward low kick or I'm gonna finish with an upward low kick. The second combination, I'm gonna throw two straight punches. The first one is my range finder, it's my jab. The second one, I'm gonna turn my hips over for my cross. Now I'm gonna do a switch kick to the body. So from this position, my right hip is forward, my left hip is back. I wanna use that loaded up power of my left hip being in the back, being able now to swing to the front. So off of this, I'm gonna switch step. Step back with my front foot step in with my back foot and I turn it out on an angle. Now from here, I pivot through, throw my lead leg, switch kick to the body and exit. Again, step with the jab, turn over for the cross, switch step, kick and back. And from the side, Combination number three, it's gonna be a jab, cross, and then I follow with a hook. So if I notice my opponent is bringing his guard forward to defend straight punches, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw those straight punches to get their hands to come forward. And then I'm gonna hook around and hit them in the right side of the head. When you do that, you're drawing your opponent's attention to that side of their head. That's when you attack with the low kick in the back. So from here, it looks like this. I step in on my jab, turn over with my cross, turn over with my hook. Now I step to the outside and finish with a low kick. Again, step in jab, cross, hook, step, low kick. One more time. And a couple of times from the side. Step in, jab, cross, hook, step, low kick. Step in jab, Cross, hook, low kick. Combination number four has four punches. I step in, jab, cross, hook, then I follow with another cross, and I'm gonna go back to that switch step, lead leg, round kick. So again, jab, cross, hook, cross, switch, round kick.
And my fifth and final basic kickboxing combination, it's the exact same combo as combination number three, which is the jab cross hook, but we're gonna modify the cross and the hook a little bit. So my jab is normal. My cross, I'm gonna turn it over a little bit here. So my thumb's pointing down on an angle. I'm dropping my lead shoulder down and back. From this, I'm gonna let my rear hand drop and I'm gonna turn over and throw a liver hook. So that's a shot right here to the liver. Again, jab, overhand right, liver hook, and then I step low kick. Again, jab, cross, liver hook, low kick. One more time, jab, overhand, liver hook, low kick. Now from the side, step in, jab, overhand, liver hook, step low kick. One more time. Okay, let's look at those five combinations now on the heavy bag. Then I'm gonna talk about how to build these off of each other, string them together to make longer combinations out of them. Combination number one, from here, I step in, I step out, I throw my low kick, exit, and then I move back to the start. Again. You notice when I finish a combination with a low kick, it's gonna be that downward cutting kick that we talked about in the low kick video. For these, when I practice them solo, just one combination at a time, that's how I wanna finish these, with a hard definitive kick to the leg or to the body. Here's combination number two. Step in, jab, cross, switch kick, and exit. Jab, cross, and exit. Combination number three, from here, step in, jab, plant my feet, cross, hook, step out, low kick, and exit. Jab, cross, hook, low kick, and exit. When you're hitting the bag, try to hit with your shin and not your foot. So if you're in hook range, hitting with your shin should be fairly easy. Okay, one more time. Jab, cross, kick, and exit. Okay, combination number four. I step in with my jab, I use it as a rage finder. And I might have to do this a couple of times, faint a little bit, but the second I connect with my jab, I plant my feet. I know I can hit cross, hook cross off of this. And that combination I finish with a switch kick. So it looks like this. Step in, jab, cross, hook, cross, switch, body kick. One more, jab, cross, hook, cross, switch, body kick. And the final combination, combination number five, it's jab, cross, liver hook, low kick, and exit. It looks like this. I step in jab, cross, but that cross is an overhand. My head slips slightly to the left. Now from here, I rotate, liver hook, low kick. It's good practice when you throw the liver hook to turn your palm up and make sure that your elbow is behind your knuckles at the moment of impact. What I mean by that is I don't wanna have my punch coming in on one angle and my elbow flared up or my elbow flared down. My elbow should be behind my knuckles. So again, it looks like this. Jab, overhand, liver hook, low kick. Okay, here's how you mix these up on the heavy bag. So you're at the gym, you're at your club, you wanna get a bag workout in. Start a little bit outside of jab range. And from here, you're gonna start on your toes, nice and light, and you're gonna maybe throw some jabs here. You're gonna find the bag with your first jab and then select the combination to throw. So off of this one, I'm gonna throw the first one. And I move around, pop it with a couple more jabs, throw another combination, move around, throw my jab, another combination, and back out. And you're gonna build on this, and how many combinations you fire off and around is gonna dictate how much of a workout you get. So if I want it to be a light workout, not heavy impact, 
lots of time in between my combinations. And if I want it to be a harder workout, I'm gonna get in, get out, get in, get out as quick as I can. So I'm on my toes. And I'm gonna try to keep that work rate up for the full duration of the round. So if the rounds are timed at two minutes, like it's an amateur fight, then I wanna be able to blast in and out with combinations as hard and as fast as I can for the full two minutes. If it's a pro fight, three minute rounds, then I wanna be able to do the same thing for three full minutes. And if you wanna make it even more intense, you can start cutting your breaks down in between rounds. For example, if I'm building up to being able to keep that rate up for two straight minutes with a one minute break in between, then instead of adding more time to the round, what I can do is I can pull some time off the break. So instead of a 60 second break in between rounds, I can cut it back to 50 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, and so on. Once I'm able to recover in 30 seconds and do three or five two minute rounds at that work rate, that's when I'm gonna look at making my rounds longer. Two minutes and 15, two minutes and 30, 245, three minutes, and then I do the same thing. If I can do three minutes at a heavy work rate, then I wanna start pulling my breaks in between rounds back as much as I can. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you've got a favorite combination you really like, put it in the comments section below. I wanna try it out. I'm Michael Foley. I'll see you on the mats.